Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, today we're doing something I should have done like months ago. First things first, as you can tell my hair is not styled and it is now blue. It was supposed to be blue, I dyed it blue, but it's like, it's like greenish blue on the tips. Uh, so I don't wanna say impulse dyed it because you guys, if you guys have been with us for a while, you saw in an Ulta haul that I bought the Arctic Fox blue jean baby hair dye like months ago because I was thinking about dyeing my hair blue. Then I opted not to do it. And then I decided, cause I was like, do I bleach it? And cause it's not gonna be really blue. I knew it was gonna be really blue. So I said, no, I just came home from work one day at like six in the morning and was like, you know, I'm just gonna dye it. And we're just gonna see how it looks. So I actually kind of like how it turned out. It just made it like a little bit darker on top. And then like this kind of happened on the bottom. Uh, and it did fade really quick. It's, it's only like a couple days old and it's already faded quite a bit, but I pulled out my Wen, which is like a, it's like a shampoo that doesn't lather and it keeps the color from stripping as easily. So hopefully that will preserve it. But I do anticipate if I want to keep it like this, I'm going to have to dye it like every couple weeks. What are you gonna do? But I just wanted to change, so yes. So, with that being said, with a new hair look, I figured uh, now is the perfect time to do this video, like I said, that I should have done a, a hot minute ago. Um, this is a, it's actually a first impressions of a styling tool, which I, I don't think we've done anything like this on the channel before. But this is uh, the Duval Hair Straightener. Uh, they actually reached out to us at, in December. Yeah, because uh, it, it showed up. It showed up to the, our house, to my parents' house, the day we were moving, which is how this video has taken so unnecessarily long to post. Sorry, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so they, they reached out to us. They asked if I wanted to try one of the products. They have a large uh, curling wand, a thinner curling wand, and then the hair straightener. Um, they asked if I wanted to try it for free and review it on the channel and then also pass on a coupon code to you guys, which will be of course linked in the bio. Um, but let me just double check so I don't tell you the wrong thing, but it is, yeah, it's all, it's Dark Angel, uh, all capitals and it's 75, I'm sorry, 70, 70, 70% 70 off of uh, any of the tools that you wanna try. And so that makes them like $28, really great price. Super excited to test it out because like I said, it's just been kind of sitting here and I've been like, I've been like just staring at this box on my floor like, wow, I'm, I'm terrible. I should really do this. So yes, now, today, today is the day. Yeah, super jazzed about it. Uh, I really like the little color of it too. I opted to go with the straightener because I feel like I use my straightener a little bit more than I use a curling wand, even though I like my hair better when it's curled. I also opted to go with the straightener so that when I did this video, I did not have to use a clipless curling wand on the channel because I, I would say if not every time I use it, like 90% of the time I use my, the curling wand I currently have, I burn myself. I really didn't want to do that on the channel um, because you guys just, you don't need to see that level of incapableness. I don't know. All right, so before we jump in, uh, just some things to point out about the straightener itself. It has a floating tourmaline ceramic plate that is meant to glide over your hair and prevent it from tugging. Um, and also enable you to kind of like go quickly while you're styling, which is normally what I'm doing anyway. If I'm being honest, I, I know you guys are gonna watch me and be like, that's not how you straighten hair. It's not, it's not how you should straighten hair. It's how I straighten my hair. Um, I know you're supposed to like get clips and like clip it up and like do the bottom stuff. I don't do that. First of all, my hair is so thin, it barely matters. There's like not, I don't even think that there's two layers to my hair. I think there's just one layer and it's hanging on by like a thread because my hair is just very, it's very fine and it, it, it comes out in damn clumps. So I don't feel, I don't feel like it is necessary a lot of the time to like, pin up the top of it. I probably should just to get it a little bit more even, but I think overall, normally the way I do it works out well. So I thought about like, try I thought, I thought, I really did. I said, I, you know, I could try and um, make myself look like I know more what I'm doing and like try and clean up. And then it's, I, why, why, why? Oh, I was also gonna put on a necklace today because like I used a slightly darker than necessary foundation. So you can kind of see the line, it's fine. It's I'm a mess right now, It's we're great, we're doing great. Um, so yeah, so we got the wonderful floating tourmaline ceramic plates. Uh, there's also a tourmaline coating uh, that's meant to lock in your uh, hair's moisture and seal the cuticle le levels off to fend off heat damage. Um, I think you guys can all look at my like now year long in quarantine hair and tell that I've got some serious some serious damage, which is sad because I'm very rarely putting heat on it. So I have hope that this is actually going to 
make it a little bit easier for me to prevent this kind of breakage. Professional level temperature, so it can, it ranges uh, from, you can go as low as 140 to as high as 450 because I'm reckless in all I do. I normally turn my straightener all the way up to the very highest setting. I've got it set on 400 currently because I was like, but normally I set my, the straightener I use currently, I normally set to 450 if, if I'm being honest. And then uh, it does have a tangle-free cord. I was actually really worried about it. It's, I don't have an extension cord, so it's plugged into the wall and it fits. So it's like, it's like a good, nice, workable range of motion that you have with the cord. So those are just some things to point out about the straightener itself before we jump in. Like I said, I haven't tested this out yet, so I have hopes that it's going to be better than my current straightener. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's, let's go for it. Let's go. Okay, so first impressions definitely has, I can definitely feel the, the sense that it's not pulling as easily as, uh, Honestly, the straightener I have currently is a Revlon one. Um, I learned quickly that I don't really like to buy expensive straighteners because they they tend to die on me quickly. I was burned really bad, metaphorically. Uh, my sophomore year of high school, my straightener died. It was like a cheap straightener. We went to Ulta, I bought a Chi. And you guys know, Chi's like the brand. It's like the brand, right? It had skulls on it and the skulls had little angel wings and I ha it came with a hat and I was like, I have to have this one. So of course, because of that design, it was not only like cheap price, which is like $150, it's like $20 more than that. It's like $170 straightener. My mom's like, oh my God, fine. My birthday present that year. Four months that thing lasted before it croaked on me. And it's not even like, I didn't even use it that frequently. Like I used it every day to like straighten my bangs and that was about it. Cause I did that whole like, that like, you know, gel scrunchy hair that you it was like popular like way back in the day like the kind of emo style where you like scrunched your hair and then you like straightened your bangs or like, that was me so i didn't even use it that much i literally would plug it in for like five minutes a day and that thing died after two months and i said never again so then i bought a revlon and that revlon lasted me um all the way through college and it finally died and i bought another revlon and that's what i currently use and it's a good straightener but it Definitely, I mean like you can see on the edges of it, the way that it works. I should have brought that one for comparison, but I didn't. I'm, I'm not trying to trash that one, but it you can see where like parts of my hair have gotten caught in it and pulled out. And this is really not, I mean, like I have not felt a pull or anything on it. So I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot right now. I'm a big fan. So yeah, you can see as I go through my straightening with reckless abandon, like I do, I'm really liking, I'm really like, it's gonna sound silly. It's not that I doubted the product or anything at all. And I really don't ever doubt the product. I try and go in with like the openest mind possible, but you know, like I've used straighteners in the past and it's like, a straighteners, a straightener. Um, and, then, and that being said, I've had really bad straighteners. So I like, yes and no, but I, I figured it would be like, oh, a good straightener. This is, I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm probably gonna take my coupon code and go buy one of the curling irons. Cause that was, I was like, you know. Um, so just so you guys know, I, I did tell you 70% off with the coupon Dark Angel. It is normally a hundred dollar product. So you're getting it for $28. It's a really great deal. I like them. They've been so great to work with. They were so patient with me, which is, uh, they didn't need to be, but uh, you know. I, I try not to work on my own time, but sometimes I do. <laughs> I did when we moved, it was rough. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about how well this, this guy is working. He is, he is really coming through. The, the tricky thing that is gonna be, if you guys can't, I'm very aware of it. You know, you gotta recognize your flaws. My head is like not, it's not symmetrically shaped. And so like this section of my head is just like a little bit egg. And so this always pops up. So I try and like straighten everything else down and then see if I can fix this one particular spot to make it look more even. That's kind of a test I have as well. Like how easy is it to do with that? So we'll see that as well. Uh, I'll, I'll fight with that towards the end. I, I normally save it for last. It's like, you know, it's like when you defeat all the other little things and then you gotta go up and like to the boss and you gotta, you gotta destroy him before you can beat the video game. That is that, this is the boss. That's, this is the boss. I don't normally win, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say, you guys can see my strategy for straightening, I was very honest with you guys. It's, there is very little. It's kind of like grab a clump and go down. So that being said, I think that's partially why a lot of times I wind up pulling out chunks of my hair. I think that's like what's the most enjoyable of this particular product to me is the fact that I, it literally is like 
gliding. It is, it's gliding right over my hair. I'm gonna be honest though, this is a tangent, just because, you know, we've talked about the straightener. Obviously, I'm really enjoying it. I don't know what I was hoping would come out of me dyeing my hair. I don't. I just know at one point I looked at it and realized it had been like uh, seven months since I did anything with it, any sort of dyeing, anything at all. Um, and I was like, you know, it just doesn't look great. It looks just like all the color was washed out. It looked like something needed to be done. Whether I put red in it, blue in it, purple in it, it didn't really matter. It just something had to be done to make it look a little bit better. And I thought, well, you know, whatever. It's like not like I'm going anywhere. I'm still just working in the middle of the night. And then I, if I really hate it, I have other dyes so I can go fix it like the next couple days or the next week or something. Like it doesn't have to be that serious. And if I really wanted to, like I could use some of my more aggressive shampoos and I'm sure I could wash it out pretty easily as well. I'm trying not to do that. So I'm trying to preserve it, but but I'm actually happy it turned out this way. Like I feel like if I had bleached my head and then tried to make it like fully blue, I would have not liked it. Um, because a blue really isn't my color. Like it's, you guys know, it's not like the colors I gravitate towards in eyeshadow palettes. It was just something that I was like, I wanna do this. You know, now that I have the blue tips, I've been trying to do more blue eyeshadows and green eyeshadows and things that are kind of gonna complement it a little bit better. But that being said, I um, I really like kind of how this, it just really made my hair like a little bit darker on the top. Um, when I first did it, it kind of looked almost a little bit more black and then it faded into a deeper blue. And it's since then, because you know, with me going to work every day, I'm showering every day. So before when I would dye my hair bright colors, I would use a dry shampoo as much as possible and try and avoid washing it out, but that ain't happening. That ain't happening in my COVID fear state. That's not, there ain't, that ain't no, no chance of that going down. Okay, I'm probably going to have to fix it a little bit more off camera, but overall really simple. I mean, I think we've, been filming for like 15 minutes and I got it done and I spent about 10 of those 15 minutes just talking. So you can see it's really simple, really easy to use. I literally, it didn't pull any of my hair out, um, which is truthfully impressive because when I say my hair like falls, it just, it just sheds like, like you can see on my brush, there's pieces of hair. I don't know if you can see from that far, but there are pieces of hair on the brush and I cleaned it out before we started. So like, that's just kind of how it is. Um, and it's fine. It is what it is, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with it. I'm so thankful for Devolve for reaching out and for their patience. Great product, definitely check them out. Um, like I said, the link is in the bio. Uh, Dark Angel, all one word, all uppercase. It will get you 70% off. Um, they do have a couple different products you guys can choose from. So if you're looking for a straightener, a curler, um, I would I would highly recommend them. I do think I'm probably gonna go pick up one of the curling irons because I really am impressed with the technology and um, with just how fun and great the company has been to work with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of Duval, if you have any of their products. Uh, let me know what you think of the new hair color. Are you a fan? Do you hate it? I'm, I'm open to input. Uh, so yeah. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist.